Rihanna is by far one of the biggest names in Hollywood to date. As a new mom with an impressive music career, a few thriving businesses, and a fresh billionaire status, saying that Rihanna has a lot going for her is a vast understatement. But with all of her success, it may leave some fans wondering, how did she get to where she is now? Everything that I learned in the past was to lead me up to this moment. Looking at Rihanna now, it's hard not to be inspired by her. But what many fans may not know is just how hard she had to work and all she had to overcome to get to where she is. Rihanna, born Robin Rihanna Fenty, was born the eldest of three children in February of 1988 in St. Michael Parish in the Caribbean island of Barbados. And even though Rihanna has described her younger self as just a little island girl riding bikes, running around barefoot and flying kites in the cemetery, her upbringing came with some major hardships. Her father, Ronald Fenty, struggled for quite some time with substance issues, and it negatively affected Rihanna's relationship with him. It also impacted the dynamic of the household, and Rihanna didn't always feel safe in her home. This was especially the case when things turned physical. As Rihanna has spoken openly about her mother, Monica Braithwaite, having to deal with these issues from her father. She told ABC News in 2009, I don't wanna say normal, but it wasn't a surprise when it happened. Eventually, her parents split up for good when Rihanna was 14. Unfortunately, the hardships wouldn't stop there. It wasn't long before her home life started affecting her life at school. The then straight-A student started noticing her grades slip and her attitude changed altogether, refusing to talk or even cry if she needed to. Her home life also took a toll on her health. When speaking to Rolling Stone about her daughter in 2011, Monica stated she would suffer from these terrible headaches. She had to get CT scans. Unironically, it wasn't until her parents separated that Rihanna's headaches finally ceased. As the oldest child in the family, she may have felt obligated to keep her emotions in check for the sake of her younger siblings. But it later became evident just how much she was suffering. To add insult to injury, Rihanna was often teased in school for her father being from a poor Irish community and even for her skin tone. It clearly goes without saying that Rihanna's early life was anything but easy. My success is not, it's not my own, you know, it's my family's. There was one small light at the end of the tunnel. And for Rihanna, that came in the form of music and her love for it. She may not have known it at the time, but leaning into this may have been one of the most life-changing decisions she'd ever make. When she was 15, she formed a girl group with two of her friends, and making music became a huge form of expression for her. And it was around this time that she would go on to book the audition that created her nearly 20-year-long career. Music producer Evan Rogers happened to be vacationing with his wife in Barbados when he heard the trio sing for the first time. That audition went pretty well. Evan Rogers even went on to admit in an interview, the minute Rihanna walked into the room, it was like the other two girls didn't exist. It would be less than a year later, when Rihanna was only 16 years old, that she would pack up her belongings and move to the US with Rogers and his wife to start her career as an artist. Rihanna somehow seemed to know that there would be a better life waiting for her elsewhere and that she could somehow make a difference in her family's life. But moving to America to work on her music was only the tip of the iceberg for her. There's no top for me. It's safe to say that Rihanna didn't simply step into the limelight. Her talent and determination to make it in a competitive industry nearly threw her into it. And it wasn't long after teaming up with Rogers that she scored an audition with Def Jam Records in January of 2005. But of course, this meant auditioning in front of Def Jam's then newly appointed president, Jay-Z himself. When talking about the audition that would later change the trajectory of her career, she mentioned, I remember staring into everybody's eyes in the room while I was singing, and at that point, I was fearless. But the minute I stopped singing, I was like, oh my god, Jay-Z is sitting right in front of me. And though she may have been nervous for her audition, she clearly gave it her all because she left for her audition with a six album record deal. In August of that very same year, she released Ponder Replay, and thus Rihanna the Pop Princess was born. She released the rest of the album, Music of the Sun, later that month and the rest was history. From there, Rihanna would go on to release her second album, A Girl Like Me, the very next year, and gave her fans hits like Unfaithful and SOS. 
Things took a dramatic turn with her third album, Good Girl Gone Bad, where she started making the changes from her younger Pop Princess era to a completely different era where she really started coming to her own as a woman and an artist. This album, specifically the song Umbrella, is what earned her her first Grammy Award in 2008. She'd go on to release five more albums in the span of nine years and work with artists like Drake, Kanye West, Eminem, and many others. But her endeavors didn't just stop with music. She even had her hand on acting and starred in films like Battleship in 2012 and Ocean's 8 in 2018. We haven't even gotten into her world tours, award show performances, and cameo appearances. But for the sake of the length of this video, we can't go into her entire discography and filmography right now. But it's clear that Rihanna didn't seem to intend to only focus on music. As someone with a lot of talent and drive, it only makes sense that you want to explore other avenues of entertainment. I have to move on. As Rihanna would later come to experience, being in the spotlight comes with its downsides. Even though she'd worked hard to keep most of her private life private, there are some things that just can't be kept hidden from the public, especially when it comes to relationships with other celebrities. Throughout her long career, Rihanna's been romantically linked to several Hollywood A-listers, but there were a couple of very public heartbreaks and traumas she had to deal with. One of the biggest, earliest, and most well-known, of course, being her very public relationship with fellow artist Chris Brown. The two dated for a couple of years in the mid to late 2000s, but things came crashing down after an argument turned physical. Following the incident and taking into consideration her upbringing with her father, Brianna has since used her fame and audience to speak out against the type of harm she'd experienced in her life and in her own relationships. She and Chris would later go on to reconcile a few years later, only to call it quits again shortly after. Her next public relationship was with Drake, who she'd collaborated with multiple times. The pair apparently had an on-again, off-again relationship for a few years, but it ultimately ended around 2016, with Rihanna telling Vogue in 2018, we don't have a friendship now, but we're not enemies either. It is what it is. However, she did attend his birthday party in 2019, so it seems that they've put their differences behind them. All of this is to say that the aftermath of her very public relationships with these very famous celebrities only added to the pressure that the media already put on her. It seemed like there was always a new rumor floating around that she was forced to shrug off, and we can only imagine how frustrating that must have gotten. To make matters worse, as Rihanna's fame started to rise, so did certain issues with her father. In 2019, the world-famous singer sued Ronald for misusing her name for his own benefit, specifically for the benefit of his own entertainment company, Fenty Entertainment. She also sued for false advertising and invasion of privacy after he reportedly tried to book her on several tours overseas without her permission. However, she later dropped the case in September of last year. Knowing where I've come from, knowing my humble beginnings, they see uh, the possibility and it gives them hope. Between constant rumors, public heartbreak, and family drama both before and after fame, Rihanna has continued to keep her head up and stay true to herself, all without seemingly missing a beat. And it's definitely paid off for her in the long run. Despite all of her obstacles, she continued to release music, make film appearances, and eventually started her entrepreneurial journey that has earned her the official status of billionaire. Throughout her career, Rihanna was constantly seen as a beauty and fashion icon famously stating, fashion has always been my defense mechanism. She even became the creative director and brand ambassador for Puma. However, her biggest business venture by far was the launch of her very own makeup line, Fenty Beauty. Her high quality products and inclusive shade ranges made the brand a staple for consumers and makeup artists alike. She later launched her skincare line, Fenty Skin, as well as her lingerie line, Savage X Fenty. In short, Rihanna has single-handedly built nothing short of a generational empire, but her wealth and career haven't been the only things blossoming in the young entrepreneur's life. While she's had her share of heartbreak, she seems to have finally found her true love with her boyfriend and fellow artist, ASAP Rocky, who she's been friends with for years. They were rumored to have been dating in 2020 and have even grown in their small family. In February of 2022, the billionaire beauty and business mogul officially announced that she and ASAP were expecting their first child together. And in May of this year, she gave birth to her son. And we can't help but feel that Rihanna still has more artistic surprises up her sleeve. We know that the word iconic gets overused a lot on the internet, but there's simply no other way to describe her. Over the years, Rihanna went from experiencing hardships at home to becoming a billionaire artist and entrepreneur with several businesses, real estate properties, and number one hits. 
Her name alone deserves all of the respect. With everything Rihanna has had to learn and overcome throughout her many years in the spotlight, it's probably fair to say that we could all learn some major lessons on strength and perseverance from the Fenty Beauty founder. But let's hear from you. What are your thoughts on today's video? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to thumbs up the video and subscribe to The Thing Celebrity for more videos just like this one.